Before we start on reactive, or earlier known as model-driven forms, I want to highlight something regarding template-driven forms. Remember, the ng form directive gives us the entire information about this enrollment form. So in the ng submit event, let's pass the reference variable as a parameter. And in the method, let's log this object to the console. So in app.component.ts, in on submit event, I'm going to pass user form and then log that to the console. I'm also going to comment the rest of the code. Now let's head back to the browser, select a topic, Angular, and click on submit. If I open the developer tools, go to console, you can see that an object ng form is logged in the console. If I expand, you can see that there are a lot of properties on this object. We have already seen the value property. It is an object that contains the values of all the different form fields. On similar lines, ng form also has another important property named form. This form property is of type form group. And if I expand the form object, we have a property called controls. If I further expand the controls property, you can see the list of all form fields. Each of these fields are of type form control. The form control has properties like validator, pristine, touched, and so on. I want you to make a note of these two types, form group and form control. They are the building blocks of reactive forms. Now you might have a question. If they are the building blocks of reactive forms, why are they present in template-driven forms? That is because template-driven approach behind the scenes is actually the model-driven approach with the models automatically being created for you by Angular. Angular abstracts the complexity by providing us with ng model and ng model group directives. This maps to form control and form group in reactive forms. So ideally, we should be learning reactive approach first and then the template driven approach. But personally, for a beginner, I feel that is not a good idea. That is the reason I went with template driven approach first. But now that we are comfortable with some of the concepts in Angular forms, let's dive into reactive forms in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.